Tunatoa samaki kutoka China. Na wenzetu hapa. Ya? Hata kama hata, hata kama finance bill imepita, you think out of the box. Tunaweza kusema hiyo samaki ambayo imefika ni, ni mbaya. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Na unaifungia. Mid last month, President Uhuru Kenyatta urged the Ministry of Agriculture to look at the issue of Chinese fish imports, saying they were hurting the local fishing industry. This forced a flurry of meetings between Chinese and Kenyan officials in a bid to iron out sticky issues. We cannot ban imports from any country. I mean, under the trade negotiations we have under the regulation, you can't ban uh, trade because you would then invite the other country also to ban your own trade. So, so, so it doesn't it, it doesn't help you if you say you are banning. You break all the rules. Trade Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya has said the government has not banned fish imports from China, saying trade arrangements between Kenya and China prohibit any party from locking out products unless on security or health concerns. Uh, the president advised on looking at the existing uh, law to see how we can deal with that challenge. And uh, we are looking at it. I don't think it is uh, anything we need to overemphasize. Munya has said that Joint Technical Trade Committee has been formed to ionize all trade issues affecting the two countries. So far, China has signed a memorandum of understanding on sanitary and phytosanitary requirements which allow Kenya to sell fruits, nuts, avocados, mangoes, legumes, flowers, vegetable, stevia, meat, leather and leather products to the Asian giant. Munya has further said Nairobi and Beijing are reviewing visa requirements to allow Kenyan business people get visa on arrival in China. Last year, Kenya imported goods worth over 390 billion shillings from China, while exports to the Asian country were 10 billion shillings. O'Brien came in for business news hour.